Welcome everybody, it's Sylvia from Aussie Scrapper and I have another 12 by 12 layout for you and this layout was made for Auntie Vera's Scrap and Craft for the month of September and the theme is My Island Home. The papers we are using are from Courtier Creations and they are from the Sweeping Plains collection. So you would have seen the photos I picked and the photos are of my son and I'm documenting him riding his motorbike. So for my background paper, I have picked uh, paper number six, but I'm going to be using side B. And then I also picked this paper here that you're seeing, and that is paper number eight, but I'm going to be doing a fair bit of fussy cutting later on, as you will see. And I also decided that I was going to map my, my page on some brown cardstock from my stash. So I love this as a studios, it's like a template for scrapbooking that can, you can sort of design it any way you like. I absolutely, when I'm stuck for ideas, this is just something I like to go to. I just regret that I didn't buy any more of them because I had different, all different um, templates and I only bought this one and I don't really know where to get any more. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to gut the my cardstock because I'm going to use the outer the outer bit to frame my layout and as not to waste paper you know scrappers we like to save and hoard every bit of paper that we can I'm sure I'm not the only one I'm just going to gut the inside and then I'm going to use the inside of the paper to mat my photos so to use this as a studio uh, scrapbooking template, I'm just going to place my cardstock underneath the template and then I'm going to work out how I want to cut my, my template and, or my cardstock in this case. And I'm just going to use my X-Acto knife to go around the outside. And then when I cut the photo, I'm going to go around the inside so that way I get a nice little border. And what I love about these templates is it gives you ideas outside of the normal scope. Like these photos are going to be nice and curved with a straight line at the top. And the bottom photo is actually going to be curved on all sides except for the left hand side. So I'm just going to take my X-Acto knife and I'm going to distress all the edges of my mat as I just thought they were a little bit too clean cut for the look that I was after and the exacto knife does a good job but I believe I do change to my scissors just to rough it up that little bit more. Okay so this is the finished product and I'm loving how those photos are looking matted and it's time now to start working on my background. So as I've mentioned earlier this is paper six and I'm just going to get rid of that uh, branding strip there and I'm going to trim this paper on all four sides I think I did about three mils on all four sides so it gave it a nice border when I matted it on the brown cardstock and what am I going to do oh yes now it's time to match my background onto that lovely mat that I created earlier and this is when I decide that I'm going to use this gorgeous little cutout from the from paper number 11 and it's got all these lovely Australian sayings but I just picked the young and free because I thought that the colours went really well with my photos and the papers that I had chosen and it's also symbolic of my son because you know he's young and free and once again I got out my as a studios because I wanted those same curves that I had on the photos I just wanted that to flow through the whole layout. I wasn't sure if I was going to get the young and free so what I did before I just cut it out straight with my exacto knife I just used a pen to trace around it just to make sure that I didn't cut out any of the letters and then I just used my trusty scissors to cut it all out and I'm really happy with the end result. So that's where it's going to sit just right next to that bottom photo and then I decided that oh it needed something so I'm going to ink the edges it was just a little bit too stark and I wanted it to add a bit more brown as the rest of the layout has more brown in it and then I thought oh you know what I'm going to muddy it and dirty it up a bit more so I just used the excess ink to just go around it and it just made it helped to make the the cutout just blend in more with the photo so I did play with some of the ephemera I thought about putting in the map of Australia but that wasn't working 
and this ephemera pack is also part of the Sweeping Plains collection so it came with our core products for the month of September and in the end I decided that I was going to use these gorgeous gum leaves because they were more symbolic of our property we've got these leaves littered everywhere you go out our front yard and they're everywhere they're in the back and there's no point trying to sweep them up because they're just going to be there half an hour later so this is paper number eight and this is where I said I was going to do all that fussy cutting it was a labor of love no doubt about that but I'm one of these sad little people that actually find fussy cutting very relaxing. So for me, it's just uh, some time out to not think and uh, do something that I actually enjoy. But I do understand that some people might find that pretty tedious. Now, all I'm doing here is just playing around with the placement of my leaves. And I must admit, I spent a considerable amount of time trying to get the leaves right, whether I put on too many or not enough and honestly I think I really did overthink this whole layout and these leaves but in the end I did get there and here is where I decided I had to think about the title so I've got these new toys that I bought from Antivira Scrap and Craft and they are the Tim Holtz Finlets the tiny upper letters and the tiny type lowercase letters as well so I did use my trusty old cuddle bug and got them all out and it was a little bit tedious but I must admit I love these letters so what I'm thinking of doing is just cutting out a few different letter sets from all my scrap pieces of paper so that in future when I do need it I don't, it doesn't take me so long but look at how perfect those letters are so I was really excited and I hope I haven't showed this whole process on this video because it's going to get quite boring but uh, it really was worth the effort. I just like I said earlier I just think I'm going to have a whole heap of um, letters made out ahead of time in different colours just with all the scraps so that I'm ready for next time when I want to use them. And this is the finished layout. It's a very simple layout it didn't take that long but I am absolutely happy with the end result and the colors were just perfect for our property so thank you all so much everyone for your time and I hope to see you soon and I hope everyone's well in these crazy times that we are living in I wish you all the very best bye everybody